our viewers is um, how would you best describe your sound? Um, well, I think that, you know, I'm not a huge fan of labels, but I think that alternative pop um, is something and, you know, I, I feel very comfortable with, I think, because it kind of gives me the liberty to, I still feel like I make pop music, but I just have many different influence, influences and I like experimenting. So I don't like restricting myself. So I think that, yeah, that, that sounds pretty accurate. Okay. Um, now I know you also, uh, you reside between Athens, London and Montreal. So how has the diversity in your residences influenced your music? Um, I mean, it's been a, a huge part, I think, of my just it, not just in my, my overall artistry, uh, you know, how can it not? Uh, Montreal is the place where I grew up. I was born there. I was raised there up until the age of 16. Um, so, you know, of course, it, it shaped me in many different ways. And that was um, also, you know, the, the, the first my, the first music I got into, um, the first type of music was, you know, more like R&B pop, you know, very much Western music um, because of, you know, the fact that I was living in, in Canada. So, <clears throat> but at the same time, we had a lot of Greek music playing at home because uh, my parents are both Greek. Um, mm -hmm. They were both uh, Greek immigrants living in Canada for many, many years. Um, so that was also uh, a big part of, you know, you know what, the, like all the, 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 the stimuli and the, influ the musical influences. Um, Greece uh, came again later on uh, living in Greece because I always, I was always attached and always, you know, very linked to what it meant to be Greek, but in different, it was a, a very different way, uh, you know, when you actually start living in that in that country and you start having your own experiences in it. and it's not just uh you know your parents experiences your parents stories or you know the history books um so living in greece of course uh has been a huge part of m my musical journey and it was um you know the place where i um i first got discovered let's say you know my first uh record deal um i signed to universal greece um so that was again something really big for me and then london is i call it my second working home it's the place where i've you know found my most um uh, uh, uh my, my closest collaborators my team you know my my co-writers my producers um and it's you know, because it's it's not very far from Greece. Uh, it's something that, especially pro pandemic, uh, pre pandemic, I would do. You know, kind of like two weeks in London, two weeks in Athens. Awesome. Now, um, you know, as part of this interview, where you're doing South by Southwest, we'll be seeing you perform there. What does this appearance mean to you? Um, well, I've always, you know, South by Southwest has always been on my wish list because so many artists that I've that are you know my my musical influences my idols you know people that I've artists that I admire so much they've all played in South by Southwest so it's it's something that's just so it feels like such an inclusive and diverse musical experience and for an artist coming from Greece it's you know for me it's a it's a, it's a huge honor um so it kind of it just feels like a blessing and kind of like a dream come true to be able to travel abroad and connect with so many people you know through my music and just share my music excellent and i know you're uh, currently working on an ep and you just released a new single called muse um will attendees I, get to yes. check out the song I actually just released the whole uh, EP. You yeah, did. that was the latest single. Yes, yes, that was the latest single. Muse was the latest single of EP. Oh, awesome! Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's basically. I kind of feel like this festival is the first, um, the first kind of stop to promoting this EP. So it's amazing for me. Uh, and yeah, I mean, whoever is going to catch our shows, um, yeah, they, they, they'll be able to hear the whole EP performed live. 
Oh, that, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Now, um, what inspired you to write the song? Uh, are you talking about, uh, you're referring to Muse, right? Yes. Um, well, Muse is, uh, it's, a ve- it's one of the most personal songs I've ever written and, and quite different because it's very, very stripped down and you know, kind of classic, I would say. Um, whereas the other songs on the PR, they have, you know, very like heavy production and kind of an edge to them so this one is very for me uh, very delicate and um you know very I kind of wanted it to feel like if kind of like you know stripping your soul naked and uh you know feeling very vulnerable and I, I wrote it during a time where I was um having difficulties with sleep like a lot of sleep deprivation and a lot of writer's block so um that's kind of what it refers to uh getting through that and you know finding your inspiration again and finding your finding an incentive to move forward something most of us need that inspiration absolutely yeah i I think i think yeah for me it was it felt like kind of like an uh, artistic rebirth let's say but i think that it's relevant for anybody i i can't imagine a life without you know, without inspiration, I think it's just, it, it makes all the difference. Oh, it, it absolutely does. And um, since the release of Muse, um, people have, have listened to it. How have they responded to it? Um, I, 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 I've been very touched, to be honest, because um, it's just, I, I've, I've been writing about things that I just didn't really feel um you know they were just so personal and I didn't know how they would translate and it's very touching how I I feel like so many of my fans find themselves um in my songs and with this one I I feel that the general consensus is that it's uh it's 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 a song that's moved them and they you know it's a very emotional song uh I feel that it's definitely the most the most emotional song I've ever written so and I'm happy to see that that's uh it, it it's offered them something okay and uh what message do you hope fans take away from the song muse um i think that f- for me it, it because again it's it's a it, there's a lot of vulnerability but at the same time the choruses um are very they're very empowering um so for me i just i, I it, it's it's a very hopeful track so uh i always want my you know a- anyone who listens to my music to feel empowered and to to feel that there's light at the end of the tunnel that's i feel that that's that there's um a part of uh, an essence you know that that kind of essence is every, in every single song of mine um but especially in this one uh yeah that that's how I was feeling so that's what I tried to put into the track and the last lyric actually says and it's the last lyric of the holy p and it says aspiration honesty so I I just felt like it really was um an extremely honest song of mine excellent you know absolutely no filter (laughs) whatsoever (laughs) on that one so I know that you said you just released your EP. Now, during the recording process, usually how involved are you in the production end? Um, Well, I'm very involved in everything when it comes to my music and my image and, you know, my videos, every every single thing. I I identify most, uh, first and foremost, as a... Um, as a writer, you know, as a, as a songwriter, as a creator, let's say. Uh, so I have to be in every single creative process. Um, you know, when it comes to producing, I like to do many different phases and experiment with many different producers and engineers until I feel like I kind of have um, uh, a, a reference that works for me. You know, like uh, uh, the... the you know, in, in pre-production anyway, that's like a demo that I feel is very, very close to what I want the track to sound like. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I always look for producers that 
give me that space and that, you know, I, I could be in the studio with them, <laughs> uh, you know, every minute of the day and, you know, guide, guide them through it. But also, of course, ha- uh, be able to have a lot of guidance from them as well. So for me, the whole, the, 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 the give and take process is something very, very important. I could never just hand out a song and, you know, be like, okay, you know, do whatever you want with it. Uh, you know, it's it's never been like this. So I always seek for that artistic liberty and space in whatever I do. Yeah. So great to hear. Now, you, since you said the EP has already been released, um, mm-hmm. what song on it has been your favorite, was your favorite to write and record? Um, it's very, very hard to say because I've really enjoyed it. it for me this the whole process of this EP was has been my favorite so far in my musical journey um (laughs) and I love all of them so it's very difficult to say but maybe I would say the first one um call me call me leaks like the which is also the the titular song because EP is called call me leaks so that one just because I remember getting having that idea of this concept EP when I was just uh commuting like I was in the bus and this melody came to mind and this concept came to mind and I got really excited um for that specific song and then when I heard it come you know live in in the studio uh I just felt like you know was that feeling like okay so this is this is the new era you know like this is something's happening here (laughs) great like what are what are some of your favorite songs you're looking forward to performing at South by Southwest? Uh, I'm trying to think. I think I have, might have. Yeah, I, there are two songs on the set that that are not from this EP that are from previous work that I where I have collaborated with Leona Vaffins, and that one is uh, Better Love and Communication. Awesome. Now, aside from your own performance at South by Southwest, are there any performances that you've seen or look forward to seeing? Um, yes, actually, and I've I've seen some really amazing performances. Well, first of all, Kimbra, uh, which is one of, she's one of my favorite artists, and she oh, I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's um, yeah, she's an incredible inspiration for me, and she was also one of one of the one of the artists that made me fall in love with South by Southwest uh so yeah I was really happy to see that she was here uh this year too um uh who else do oh I really love this artist called um Leaning L-I-E-N-I-N-G um he's amazing and uh we had a show we were the same showcase at a, the EU like the artist from Europe showcase Mm-hmm. I was really mesmerized by him. Uh, <clears throat> so many come to mind right now, and I'm just, uh, yeah, I was so excited to see that Lizzo was was here as well. Uh-huh. I mean, because uh, I'm obsessed with her. Um, yeah, just really, really strong year this year. I feel. I agree. I agree. Now, um, and of course, and of course, Leona Vathens, which I adore. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> now, if you couldn't collaborate with anyone who would it be and why oh so many choices <laughs> really uh, it's so hard to pick um i would definitely collaborate with kimbra because we just mentioned her because she's amazing and she's um definitely one of my influences um but yeah, I mean, I would also, I, there's so many artists. I love Billie Eilish so much as well. And she was also a South by Southwest artist, uh, I think in 2017, was it? In 2019, I think as well. Uh, she's incredible. I think she's really, you know, she's she's really changed the the map and just, you know, making music that's very, very authentic, still very, very relevant you know, she's pushing it forward. And I, I have great admiration for her and, and Phineas. Awesome. All right. Um, last question. What would you like to say to your fans and supporters of your music? 
Um, first of all, I'd like to thank them uh, for being with me, uh, for showing me so much love. It really, you know, as cliche as it sounds, uh, it's everything for us, you know, it's, uh, it drives us forward. Uh, and I'm very, very grateful um, for, for them sticking by my side every step of the way. And I hope I catch some fans here in Austin. Tomorrow is actually our official show at the Iron Bear at 9 p.m. So hopefully I'll get to catch some fans there or make new fans, <laughs> you know, make new friends and new fans tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so and I just basically can't wait to get into the studio again and, you know, work on the new music that I've been uh, focused on um, during the pandemic. Great. Everything that I've written through this, you know, really odd time, but it felt like a really good time to write music. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for this interview. Thank you. It was a great pleasure. It's a great pleasure as well.